before you can ever get to where you're going, you have to decide to begin. You have to acknowledge that what you're chasing means more to you than what you are leaving behind. And then begins the greatest adventure you will ever experience. Knowing that you have turned someday into right now. That the road beneath you is waving you on. The wind at your back, it pushes you forward. There are no guarantees in life. But that just might be what makes it so incredible. You'll only go as far as you allow your imagination to take you. Whether it's the end of your driveway, or where the sun and the ocean intersect. There's a substantial disconnect between what we envision and what we actually experience. And we make the plan, we think it's perfect, we're ready to go. You know, sure, I have my race plan, I'm gonna sprint the last mile. Yep, I know exactly what my career is gonna look like, here are the steps. I'll follow this plan in the morning, this one in the afternoon. But then you're in the midst of the battle, right? And when you're in the trenches, you quickly realize that you didn't take into account a variety of factors. And funny enough, these factors are what make victory so difficult to begin with. The required patience, the persistence, the instinctual desire for routine, to know, to predict. And sure enough, that time comes. You go to sprint the last mile, but you didn't realize you'd be fighting just to keep going, let alone increase your speed. The time comes to take that next step with your business, your career. You didn't realize the market wouldn't embrace your product with open arms. The time comes to put your plan for the day into action. You didn't realize you'd be pulled in 20 different directions. See, the formula isn't as simple as we want to believe. Why? Because we attack armed with the wrong idea just as much as life is about executing a plan. It's also about taking the unplanned and making it work. The unexpected. Life's curveballs. You know, they're not entities that lurk outside the scope of your game plan. They are your game plan. The idea is to be brave, not perfect. It's to be resilient, not flawless. Confident, not complete. The best athletes don't train to be perfect. No, they train to tolerate discomfort because guess what? If you can't adapt, you die. If you can't adjust, you lose. Life will never conform to your plan, and people don't want to hear that. They remain stubborn, unchanged, and what they're left with is resentment and the feeling that they've been slighted by life. The person who plans for the perfect race will always be outdueled by the one who comes prepared to conquer its imperfections. The one who will reign in the unexpected, not bow to it or falter in his presence, but own it. The pursuit of victory is not one from which we emerge unscathed. It's messy. It's humbling. If you can't embrace the idea of being knocked down, then get out. If you're too proud to acknowledge that your plans aren't an instruction manual, you will be defeated. They're saying that you can't control the wind, but what you can do is 
just adjust your sales. Yeah, be prepared, be skilled, be the best at what you do, but be flexible. Move with the elements, relish in the understanding that the obstacles will come and they will make you stronger. Strong minds win because they don't succumb to events beyond their control. And that choice is always going to be there. You didn't plan for this, but the decision presents itself. Will it be the reason you fail or the reason you succeed? lies in the gaps 
and blank spaces between them. The things that people walk right by. That's what you need. That's what the world needs, even if they don't know it. Look, you may not be understood now, but like anything of value, of true meaning, that time will come. Just at a cost, the majority is not willing to pay. But if you are, your path will lead you past mediocrity, past conformity, past the average, and towards the best things this world has. You didn't see what is, you saw what could be, and you created it. And there is nothing more powerful.